I, 25 female, once cheated on my husband, 21 male, at a party whilst drunk. He found out today because the man I slept with messaged him. I apologize profusely but he won't forgive me. What do I do? The story goes that my colleague he, who was 23 at the time, I was 23 and my husband was 19, invited me to a party. My then boyfriend was aware of this and permitted me to go alone, advising me to phone him if I needed to be picked up. During the party though, I got drunk and began a relationship with E. We were both a little tipsy. I didn't tell my boyfriend since I was madly in love with him and didn't want our relationship to come to an end. After he proposed to me the next year, we were married and moved in together at the beginning of the previous year. Around this time, I resigned from my previous employment and accepted a position closer to our house. My husband requested that I sit down today since we had something important to talk about. In the process of pulling out his phone, he exhibited a conversation between E and my husband. Some variation on the theme was used, such as if, my name, appears on your profile picture, is it by chance that you are E my husband? Yes, she has officially become my wife. Why E can you tell me how long you and your husband have been together? I've known my hubby since 2018, so we've been together for a few years. Do you have any idea who she is my husband? Are you having a good time with me, E.E. E. friend? I had an encounter with her at a party in 2019. My husband, are you having a good time with me at the moment my spouse inquires? When did you two have E? No way, brother, she cheated on you with another man. E. I'm not sure, possibly at a party in August. My husband, thank you so much for notifying me. E. I'm sorry, guy, but you had to learn this the hard way. Mr. Husband, I'm relieved that you told me since I didn't know how to reply, and instead just apologized, stating I was inebriated or something along those lines. In response to his query about whether or not it was consensual, I said that we were both extremely drunk. When he subsequently sent an email to E, asking who had initiated contact, the response came back within a few hours, but not before he started to question me about E including how long we'd known one another for and if we had ever flirted with one another. After a few minutes, I burst into tears because I didn't want to be separated from my husband. The moment he answered that I was the one who had first initiated the flirting and getting tactile, my husband threw his phone on the table and buried his face in the palms of his hands. He rose to his feet and said that he was leaving for his parents' house and would return the next day. In the meanwhile, I should begin packing my possessions and we would discuss our relationship the following day. When I started to even more, I told him that it was a one-time incident that would never happen again, and he raised his voice, telling me that it was my fault and that our relationship had been irreparably ruined. My mind is blank as to what to do at the moment. I'm horrified that this happened, especially since we had just recently celebrated our one-year wedding anniversary, and our anniversary was coming. I'm completely at a loss for what to do and am weeping uncontrollably. I'm in desperate need of aid. Story 2. Wife of 9 years haha been having an affair for 4 of them. I am 34 years old and my wife is 33 years old. We have been married for 7 years after dating for 3 years and have no children, but we do own a home together in the city. The fact that I'm writing this a week after discovering the news is because I'm now staying at my brother's house. My wife and I had a wonderful relationship. We met at a conference meeting for our jobs and hit it off right away. She enjoyed the same things that I did, and even though our hobbies were different, we engaged in each other's activities. After three years of dating, she made the decision to move in with me in a small home I rented from a friend, with the two of us dividing the monthly rent and utilities. It seemed like we had a good relationship, and I believe our intimate life was also good. We would both do chores around the house, and I would cook the majority of the meals because she didn't know how, which I didn't mind. We would go out on dates on a regular basis, and I would frequently bring her surprise gifts, which I believed she enjoyed. I will confess that I was distant in the relationship at one point due to the death of a family member, and I had locked myself away in my office. We may have gotten married a little too quickly, but I really love this woman with all of my heart and now it's all been taken away from me forever. The love she and her family have for me is undeniable, and her father, 
and I are especially close since we go on fishing trips together on a regular basis. So I didn't notice anything was wrong with her behavior until recently, when she became more distant from me and began accusing me of cheating. She also began getting into arguments over petty things, for which I would eventually apologize, though she didn't accept the apologies, and she began going out for girls' nights, where, or so I assumed, she and her friends would just hang out for the day. Our bedroom life had essentially ceased to exist, and anybody I tried to initiate would be rebuffed by her, who would explain that she was tired or not in the mood, which I accepted as valid reasons. Nonetheless, these triggered alarm bells in my head, and I began snooping around. Her Facebook page was unexceptional, but her phone hovo that was a gold mine. One day, she was laughing at her phone, and when I inquired as to what was funny, she became extremely defensive and stated that she did not have to tell me, and then she returned to her texting. After she'd had a few drinks and gone to bed, I unlocked her phone using Face ID and looked through her photos finding nothing, including anything she'd recently deleted. Then I went to her messages and found some girl named Monica, she loved friends, and I hadn't met a friend named Monica, so I took a snoop and discovered the jackpot. The final versions of the paragraphs are as follows, simply stated, I detested talking about things like I want you and so what, I already have a spouse and other such nonsense. The sting came in the fact that she didn't delete anything from any of our nude messages over the previous four years, even though there were hundreds of such communications. Because of my little computer experience, I placed malware on her phone and instructed it to send me a copy of every text she received, which took five hours. As a result, I'm simmering with wrath because I give this girl whatever she asks of me, and she continues to do so for a lengthy amount of time while maintaining a grin on her face. I've asked a buddy for a suggestion for a lawyer who would go full scorched earth on her and... As a consequence of this request, all of my positive feelings about her have been changed into rage and venom. She may not be aware of what is going on, so I told her that I was leaving on a business trip for two weeks and that I had already put cameras around the home. He came over immediately after I left and they had covered every inch of the house. Even worse, Monica happens to be my other brother, so I'm left on the inside feeling deceived, emasculated, and heartbroken by this experience. My brother, with whom I live in the same house, is the only one who is aware of this, and we are both really upset about it. While I've been away from my family, my dear buddy Jack Daniels has been at my side the whole time. In order to avoid being caught off guard by divorce papers from a lawyer I haven't even hired yet, I'll have to go back to my old ways and approach her as if nothing had occurred. Nonetheless, I will acknowledge that something has broken and disappeared and that I no longer care for my wife. But that is the current situation of things in which I find myself. When someone asks for an update, I'll publish it. But for the time being, I'm lost, intoxicated, hurt, and outraged, and I have no intention of reconciling with anybody. Nonetheless, what should I do now, given that I'm completely lost, is a mystery to me. Please accept my apologies for the lengthy reading. I just realized that I put has instead of haha in the previous sentence.